For the first time since the middle of March, stores at the mall at Green Hills are back in business. Some of them. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us the adjustment they're making to be able to open their doors. There's something in the air in Green Hills. Making sure we sanitize the counter every time somebody comes in. And it's not just Lysol, although there's plenty of that. For sisters Erica and Noel, it's an airing of grievances. If we want to survive, we have to open up our doors again. We can't just stay closed. But in order to reopen, change is in the air. Changing rooms at Holly Ray Boutique have now been relocated to your house. To make up for it, you have more time to change your mind. To let people have that extra time to, yeah, have the option. Over at Gus Meyer. We definitely did not think that it would be, you know, two months almost at this rate. An air of solitude will remain even though they've reopened. I think everyone's had to get creative. Through the end of this week, they're open by appointment only, only a handful at a time. You get really the whole Gus Meyer experience to yourself. If your decision to return is still up in the air, the general manager for the mall at Green Hills says they're ready when you are. We just really want to welcome our customers back um, as they uh, feel comfortable coming back. It's not a requirement for each individual customer to wear a mask at all times, although it is highly encouraged, but you will find that every employee inside here will be wearing one. So while the crowds may not return in droves anytime soon, just having their doors back open is a breath of fresh air. We're ready to get back to a new normal. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. By the way, if you don't feel safe shopping in person, several stores also have online shopping options along with curbside pickup.